I'm the guy that went to his house, and I went there, and everybody joins me. An ugly scene in Roseville as tempers flare and cut a board, sheeting, a board meeting short. Good evening. The controversy continues following the release of a video targeting a Loomis pastor and his LGBTQIA plus youth group. I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. Tonight, both groups showed up to speak out tonight at that meeting. And here's one thing that we do want to tell you. It did not last long. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was there. People were screaming at each other. Watch what happened. A district board meeting erupting into a yelling match and ultimately coming to an abrupt end. Parents and students quickly leaving after one speaker held up what appeared to be a white power hand sign. All this happening at the Roseville Joint Union High School District Board meeting Thursday night, just days after the release of a controversial video of a Loomis pastor, Casey Tinnen, who runs an LGBTQIA plus youth group, called the landing spot. When they know that their queer kid is coming to me for support, they're going to be upset. It's when you are purposely misgendering them, when you are purposely not using their name. How do you handle that? I call CPS. The video released by Project Veritas. The group considers itself to be an undercover journalism organization. Critics call it a far right activist group. Thursday night, dozens showing up to the district board meeting to speak out during public comment. Many expressing support for Tenant and LGBTQIA plus students. I'm here to ask you to practice what you preach about protecting children who already feel outcasted and rejected by all of you. It is also extremely disappointing that this district is giving a voice to a group that used deceit and defamation to push their homophobic narrative. They made a very good man seem like a very bad man. It's complete misinformation. I know that he is doing really, really good work. And others telling the board their concerns. Have the proper steps been taken to fully vet these other organizations? The solution is not putting a wedge between parents and children. Having children lie and attend secret meetings is not the answer. This comes weeks after controversy surrounding a youth drag show fundraiser that was set to be held at Roseville High School. But ultimately, the event was canceled after community uproar. One speaker read a statement on behalf of Pastor Tennant. Pastor Casey writes, I want to tell you tonight that the hate that has been directed at me and my church community this week has been immense. Proud boys paraded outside my home with a megaphone calling me a groomer and a pedophile, saying I should not feel safe in my neighborhood. There have been death threats. There have been bomb threats. One speaker claiming he went to Tennant's house. He doesn't belong on campus. He should be banned from every campus. And I'm the guy that went to his house, and I went there, and everybody joins me. Because I'll be there tonight again. We spoke with Tenen's attorney, who says they are looking into restraining orders and address the claims in the video. What we're hearing from a lot of people is rumor, innuendo, unfounded facts. And although we've heard that it's not anti-LGBTQ, what's interesting is that they seem to draw the conclusion that Pastor Casey is a pedophile just because he's gay. His attorney says before any litigation is brought, she would like to talk to the school board. A dramatic meeting. This was the first meeting since the district released a statement to parents saying given the pastor's statements in the video and other related concerns, they contacted CPS and the Roseville Police Department. But police tell ABC 10 there is no active investigation. You can read more of the statements on our website, abc10.com.